Hi, uh, so um, today I'm going to try and do a Hugh Forge um, skull in the Anycubic Cobra 3 um, and using the Anycubic slicer. Um, I'm going to get it from uh, Maker Online. I've tried open it in any cubic slicer, it didn't work. So what I've done is I've actually manually downloaded the STL file. Um, it, for some reason, it comes up with errors when you try and download it. Um, open it when you click on open in cubic slicer. So if that happens, just manually download the file. Um, go to any cubic slicer import. Um, and it's that one, so we'll open that one. Oops, let's just get rid of that one. So that's opened up fine. Um, now I'm just going to uh, paint it in the colours that I want um, and see how it comes out. Uh, so, first, I'm just going to make sure that my Prince is sync so I get the right colours which is uh, you just sync the limit from that to fill or how it will fill I'll try and see what happens oops Let's try it at five percent. That's better. That's better. I think then see if we can get that filled in. So if you change the percentage um, angle on this, it won't fill everything up. Um, if you put it on a hundred percent or ninety percent, it'll fill the whole picture up. But um, it highlights where you want to actually fill it, it's just quicker. So if I go to the one, and then what I want to try and do is do that in white, which that is. Um, I think I'll do the mouth in black as well. Um, I'll just go back to the white and put the full angle back on again. Oh. I'm just wondering if that's not going to fill everything up. Oh, so. so let's put that on 6%. I might actually do that colour. I think that'll look cool. So we'll try that and see how that turns out. Um, infill density is going to be at 100% and I'm going to do it at 0.8mm which is a 3D photo um, thing. So if you go to more settings it'll be a, a first layer height is 16mm. Um, obviously the infill will be 100% density. Um, so that's good, and I don't really need supports on there, and the brim on there. And um, so we'll just go to the G code, uh, G code preview, see if it slices okay. Once it's done the G code, it'll give you an idea on the actual time it's going to take up in the left hand corner. So, this is saying it's going to take one hour, uh, two minutes, um, which is not too bad. Um, I'm going to turn on, I'll just go to the workbench, I'm going to turn on the drawing, oops I don't want that one to stop drawing, I only want it on 4 hours um, so if you click on PLA and then start dry so I've got that for 4 hours and just go back to prepare um, so we'll see how this turns out 
Um, so what I'll do now is push remote print. Um, actually, let me just check underneath it. Sometimes it doesn't. No, it's completely. Sometimes if you flip it, flip it over, the color doesn't come all the way through. So you need to color it as well um, underneath. Right, so let's remote print this and start print. So that's sent to the, the Cobra 3 printer and then you can go to workbench to view tasks. I'm going to put it on silent, confirm. Um, um, just to show you on here, I've actually changed the flush volume to 0 0.6 because otherwise it uses a uh, waste a lot of filament um, so it's now just preparing and preheating so this is the start of the print that's uh, the first layer Yeah, so, so far it's uh, looking pretty good. So, 22% done. And there seems to be a bit of a blobbing at the top there, but we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, so, this is just over 53% now. So the print finished and it took uh, it took one hour twenty one minutes thirty seven seconds. Um, that's what it actually turned out like. So not too bad. There's a bit of blobbing up here, which I think might have been where I had the window open and there's a cold air blowing in. Um, also a little bit of stringing, um, which always seems to happen with white for some reason. And that's the purge. So not a lot of waste on it. So for my first Hue Forge file, um, I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out because um, I've never done one of these before. I'll try some of this later on and put them online. But thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and keep an eye out for my next video.